was basically a Chinook flying in this iconic aircraft. It's XX154, which is the first Hawk. Everyone knows of the Hawk jet from the Red Arrows, and you know it is an iconic jet anyway. This was actually the first one that was ever built to fly. So it's an incredibly iconic aircraft, and it's in pristine condition because it was only finished flying um, in December of last year. From all over the world, will come and see because of its basic its status. It's a benchmark aircraft. It's in brand new condition. It was only uh, finished flying, like I say, recently and it was the first one that they did the testing on and it was actually when they brought it in 45 years to the day that it started its flying career. So obviously it must have been quite a big event yesterday, getting it a bit of a, a problem trying to get it in and, and sorted. But how excited are you for the future now for the museum and having this piece? Really exciting for us. Obviously we've got a number of, of exhibits that are world-renowned exhibits. I mean, we've, for example, we've got a cutaway of a nuclear weapon that the RAF would have used if it had come to that. So I mean, these are fascinating things that you don't get a chance to go and see anywhere else. We've got uh, you know a jet that was used in the Falklands War. They're, they're really national uh, importance exhibits. Bit. and this is just adding to that that catalogue uh, of wonderful things that we've got for people to come and see. I mean we're one of the museums that's starting to build now a reputation worldwide for being a unique place to visit for like for example the Tank Museum down in Bovington is, is a unique place and is sort of the home of, of, of the exhibits for that area. We are now known for the home of exhibits for anything to do with Boscombe Down and, and jet testing as well which is important for us. I knew for this for quite a while actually um, and it was one of those things we couldn't really make public until all the tests had been done. I mean you know to get a Chinook to fly in an exhibit, most of our exhibits come in by road to be honest with you, uh, but to get one flown in by the RAF themselves is no easy task. It requires a lot of negotiations and of course you know you've got to make sure that one the, the jet is ready, it can be it can be lifted and everything everyone's happy with that and two that the, the right weather on the day, that the pilot's happy to fly with it because it's it's quite a technical thing to be able to fly with with a jet below you, 20 foot below you as a helicopter pilot you've got to make sure you know what you're doing and, and he did uh, and all of these things, are, these things are great training for the RAF too because it's something a bit different for them so there was a lot of things that needed to be put together for it all to happen on the day.